It's a sad day for the court and for the country. Today's historic Supreme Court decision is a victory for the sanctity of life. Nearly 50 years after Roe. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. The decision by the high court to eliminate the constitutional right to an abortion was met with celebrations and anger, with protests in cities across the country. It's shocking. This is something that women should have a right to. It's a roller coaster of emotion. It's, it's complete and utter joy. The justices decided 6-3 to three to uphold Mississippi's law banning abortion after 15 weeks the case actually before the court. But then they went further, deciding five to four to overturn Roe. All three of Trump's appointees were in the majority. Chief Justice John Roberts said he would have taken a more measured course. We couldn't be happier with this decision, and I've never been prouder to be a Mississippian. We are headed down a dangerous spiral that will erode our democracy. The decision set in motion trigger bans in 13 states. In seven of those states, abortion is now already illegal. At least two dozen states are certain or likely to ban abortion soon. Swift action to certify Section 861 banned abortion in our state immediately. We're fighting like hell here in Michigan to protect Michigan women's access to abortion and reproductive health care. Now there are questions about health implications, from access to care, to fertility services, to emergency contraception, about the criminalization of abortion care, and about what's to come for other privacy rights. The Supreme Court is a different branch of government. They can look at whatever comes before them. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote in a concurrence, in future cases, we should reconsider all of this court's substantive due process precedents, including Griswold, Lawrence, and Obergefell, decisions on contraception, sex, and same-sex marriage. Alito's majority opinion differed, saying abortion is fundamentally different from those precedents. Now, without the votes in the Senate to codify Roe into law, Democrats are turning to November. Roe is on the ballot. Reproductive freedom is on the ballot. The answer is simple. It's November. It's the ballot box. Hoping the abortion issue will divide Republicans, drive base turnout, and turn swing voters, suburban women in particular, from a focus on the economy to the fight over reproductive rights. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.